Chickadees, how are you all doing? <laughs> I'm so excited. It's day 16 of Vlogmas and we are just chugging right along. Uh, I'm excited about today's little video snippet. It's part two of using the AccuQuilt to cut uh, the squares and rectangles for Father Christmas, which is by Pixel Quilts. Uh, and I'm excited to show, uh, for this part two, I'm going to be showing how to subcut. Yesterday I did one and a half inch strips and did one and a half inch squares um, and got those all finished. Today I'm going to show uh, subcutting a couple of the one and a half inch strips with the two and a half inch strip roll, uh, die to cut the one and a half by two and a half rectangles uh, and kind of, and, and do that, um, cut a, a couple of strips of two and a half inch, I think one strip of two and a half, two and a half inch, because I need a couple of two and a half inch squares, and then sub cut that strip, um, into one and a half by two and a half inch rectangles. So just to, to show, um, you how uh, cutting and sub cutting kind of works between both of those strips. Um, I don't have a four and a half inch strip cutter and there are, there are several, a four and a half and six and a half and an eight and a half. There are several cuts that would definitely benefit from like strip cutters of, of that size. Those I am going to have to use my, uh, stripology rulers, uh, the XL probably will probably be the easiest. Uh, well, I guess it depends on how, how I can sub cut it. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'll, I'll I will do that um, further into uh, the last few days of of Vlogmas. I think I'm going to take I think I'm going to take Father Christmas with me to Georgia, and work on that a little bit, and we'll we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so I'm excited to to show that off. I do want to show you um, if anybody is is nervous about having waste from doing the cuts and subcuts that I've been doing this. So I did uh, rose, lingerie, rose, lingerie, shadow, and haze. I did four colors. Um, and so these, there are these, these pieces, this is lingerie, this is shadow, this is rose, and this is haze. Um, and so I did all of these subcuts and I still have, ooh, let's, let's, so J is haze. From that piece of fabric, even using the AccuQuilt, which I think a lot of people are scared about waste. I have this whole strip left from J, which is haze, and I needed um, a, a rack <laughs> of one and a half by one and a half squares, um, a bunch of two and a half by one and a half rectangles, and um, one four and a half by one and a half, which I have like a piece, a one and a half piece, one and a half inch strip that I need to cut the four and a half off, and I haven't done that yet. I just haven't done that one yet. Um, but so that's, that is how much I have left over from, from Hayes. And then, whew, let me see if I can grab these without knocking any and everything down. I did just turn on my, my name though. He, that's fun. Um, so from F, which is shadow. Yes. From F, I have these pieces, this two and a half inch strip, some a one and a half inch strip and some one and a half inch squares. And really, um, I would have had like a more of a hunk like I have of haze left over of F if I had, I really wasn't, in all honesty, I really wasn't paying that much attention and I didn't have to cut all, all of what I cut. I just kind of went for it. But I'm not at all stressed or worried about the fact that I have them like this because I'm gonna put these in my Kona Cottons bin for FPPing and this, this will be used up. Um, so that is from that. This is a little bit more of shadow, which I will need to put to keep it all together. Um, 
here are what my little one and a half inch strips that are left over of of rose this is O, which, which is, was rose for us and then of lingerie so I have some strips if I wanted to do like a pieced backing for for Santa I could do oh I could maybe do oh I could totally do some FPP snowflakes in these things um if I just wanted to use up the, the rest so literally this is this is scraps this is normal scraps from from just traditionally cutting so if you are paying attention and if you're a little bit anal like I am, a little OCD, you're really able to end up with great amounts of usable remaining pieces and, and not have any more waste than you would have normally cutting um, with regular traditional uh, cutting. So um, I don't want you to be nervous about about the AccuQuilt. There's a little bit of a learning curve to get to this point. Um, I think m all of the FPP that I do, I think has kind of put me in that mindset of um, save as much as possible, <laughs> keep as much as uh, whole um, as possible. I think that's really helped me with, with the AccuQuilt and, and getting things placed really closely and used. I think you'll see that a little bit in this, in this video. Um, but yeah, I just, I just love it. I, I, there's a, a, an affiliate link in the description below. If you're interested, please don't feel like you have to. Um, it is just something that I, I am, I have affiliate links to very few things and the things that I do have affiliate links to, I really believe in and, and am excited about, and I'm happy to be a part of. Um, so Yes, I have an affiliate link to AccuQuilt and I have that affiliate link because I freaking love the product and I use it often and I don't show it as much as I should. I know I've spent a lot a lot of time this past year talking about legit kits and getting certified. Um, so I haven't given AccuQuilt as much love as I should and could, but with me writing my own patterns, um, I think writing patterns with the AccuQuilt in mind is something that I'm I really would like to do. So um, it, I will I will be spending a lot more time with my AccuQuilt, the, both the the big and the little mini, um, and and showing like different things um, in the coming year. And I'm excited about that. So yeah. So um, I hope you enjoy the video, and I will play that right now, uh, and then I'll come back and chitty chat about what what the upcoming plans are, uh, and and then sign off. Okay, so enjoy.
All right, so I hope that was kind of fun seeing how you can use two different dies to get you the cuts that you need for the project that you're using. Um, I watched Triple Play today from Missouri Star Quilt uh, and they were doing some strip, basically one, one and a half inch strips. I think it was, mm, oh, was it Natalie's? I can't remember who's. Who went first today? Oh my gosh, I just, to my mind just went totally blank. Whoever went first was using a layer cake and was cutting one and a half inch strips from it. Um, did Jenny go first? Oh my gosh, anyway, it might've been Misty. Oh, yeah, it might've been. Um, but anyway, so that's something that, that you could do. All of that, that one and a half inch strip cutting that she did from the layer cakes, you could lay, you know, both, you know, sets of uh, up to eight layers is pretty much the, the, the max that you want to push for uh, quilting cotton. Um, but you could let two, two stacks of eight, get 16 of them done, and she left some of them whole for the one that she did, get all those one and a half inch strips cut at the same time. Boom! Dunzo! <laughs> I just watched something where the girl said, bish bash bosh. <laughs> and so I had that in my head as I said it, but... <clears throat> Anyway, um, so yeah, again, I'm excited about the different things that uh, I, I can like show you guys how to do and, and what to, to use with this tool. So enough rambling. <laughs> I'm just, when, I, when something strikes my fancy, I get excited to share it with everybody. So I hope you guys are excited too. Um, but thank you so much for being here for day 16. Uh, I hope that you were able to watch Stephanie over on Quilting with Stephanie Stitches. I, uh, her vlog list comes out at 8.30 and then um, once you have made your hot cocoa or your coffee or uh, settled in um, and are maybe watching Sean's live this morning, uh, I hope you'll watch at 9.30. You'll watch Russ's uh, vlog list his day 16. So um, we're doing we're doing really well. And I'm excited that, you know, kind of excited that we're, <laughs> we're almost done. It's kind of a lot to do to do the, the videos every day. And I had big plans of recording, you know, uh, like some stuff like in bunches and then maybe do like the greetings and all that kind of stuff. But it hasn't worked out that way. That's just not the way life has worked out for me over the past couple of weeks. Um, but it's been fun and I've really enjoyed it and it's been fun like editing the little things together and putting the Christmas music in it and all that kind of stuff. So, all right. All that's to say is thank you so much. I will see you again tomorrow morning. Uh, I am, uh, oh, um, I was super excited to have spent time with Stephanie last night for her birthday video. So I will link that video in. It was a good time. It was Russ of Quilt Meets World, me, Stephanie, and Stephen and Walter from Idiot Quilter. Um, and it was Stephanie's birthday yesterday and we all got to spend some time together. So that's a fun video and I, I'd love you guys to watch that uh, and say happy birthday to Stephanie if you weren't able to join us then. So I'll link that in the, in the description below. Okay, enough yammering. <laughs> we'll talk to you all soon. Um, I think I said I was going to talk about things that are coming up, but I think I've talked enough. So I will talk more about things that are coming up in the, in the new week on tomorrow's Vlogmas. You'll just have to come back. There you go. That's the hook. You'll have to come back tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Thanks, everybody. Talk to you soon. Bye now.